not gonna lie, I'm very confused about what's going on here. And I'm on fire. Oh, that's nice. Um, I think the torch set me on fire, actually. Hang on. I have a thought. If I... <laughs> the cannonballs just rolling up to me. Yeah, no. Oh, God, look at, the, look at the arrows falling out of the sky. I'm curious now. If I back into that tree, will it set the tree on fire? Um... Yeah, it will. And then immediately set me on fire. Alright. <laughs> I think we're going to have to take the torch out. That's a really cool feature, actually. I like that that's a thing. Can I remove the torch, please? There we go. Okay. And we'll put an arm plate on the back instead. Alright. Let's try and take out this cannon. Yep, and uh, taking out the cannon takes off my blade. Okay, so we need to find another way to get rid of the cannons. Or possibly just not. Maybe just focus on the soldiers. Ow. I'm not really worried about them though, because I've got so much armor. It just, oh god, every time I just crash into something, the blade comes off. What if we have a second blade on top? Let's try that. Yeah. Um... Oh. Also, those cannonballs are real. Those cannonballs are really irritating. But it's not really the damage I'm worried about because I'm actually doing all right at the moment with all the armor I have. What I'm concerned about is the fact that um, the cannonballs—they kick me up in the air and I lose traction, and also they knock me around. Uh. The trees. Do I actually get points for killing the trees? I don't think I do. Oh, wow, we are skidding. Oh right, do we skid on ice? Is that a thing? That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, we are hurt at the moment. Trying to find some more of these salt dudes. And whoa, god! Sorry, do we skid on ice or blood? I don't actually know. Maybe we skid on bloody ice. You know, I imagine that that would be really slippery. Okay. We are. Uh... Oh god! I'm trying really hard not to jackknife this thing. Oh, okay. So yeah. When you hit the cannons, you lose parts. Which kind of sucks. Okay. Chop down more tree. Um, all these people are actually already dead. I'm just putting more blood into them. And... Nah. Nah. Okay. Now, okay. Right. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Um, hmm. How can we fix this problem? I guess we can make the wheels further apart. Hmm. Um. Hmm. What weapons do we have? Flamethrower. Shrapnel cannon. I guess we have our own cannons. What do you that? Let's keep firing the cannon. C. Oh, bam. oh god! So the shrap, the just the Im bleh. What should we call it? The recoil. That's what I was gonna say. All right. Oh, the flamethrower just goes like that. Hmm. Press the flamethrower. Why? Blah. Oh boy. Okay. So yeah, I think we need either armor. Or a way to take out those cannons. So far the armor has worked, but then we are left with an inability to destroy everything else. So... Maybe we should put cannons. We should use cannons. Somewhere. Let's try a cannon up there. Let's stick our armor back on. Side armor. <laughs> Alright, so we can take care of the cannon, but we have to be quick about it. Because otherwise it will absolutely demolish me. 
And I'm turned around. Okay, great, that was not what I was hoping for. Oh, steering this thing is incredibly interesting. I don't know if those spinning blades are actually ki kicking the ground. Can I, can I not kill this guy? No? Okay. Alright, I'm just going to push him backwards. Let's try and turn around again. Yeah, I just wants to turn the other way. Alright, let's, um... Hmm. What if we take off that blade? Just have the... Just have the upper one. Oh, bam! Okay, there's one cannon down. That was a very whiff of a shot. Try and turn around a bit. Hmm. Yeah, steering is very weird at the moment. Don't know what's up with it. Let's just turn around, go back to the archers. Okay, we fell in half. Okay, right. This is very interesting. Um, all right, let's try something a little different. The cannon is definitely a good idea, I think. In fact, let's actually just destroy this machine. And start from scratch because that's always a good idea. Okay, so let's do the old steering hinge idea. We have the steering hinge at the front like that, and then block like that. Say blocks like that, like that with a wheel, a wheel, and then actually we could put the circular saw there and there. Alright, let's try that for the front. And then we'll put uh, blocks. There you go. Block there, block there. Wheel there, wheel there. And uh, infallible side armor. Can I have armor there? No, I can't. Wham, 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 wham! I can't put it on the back there. I don't know why I would. Oh yeah, and we wanted a cannon. A cannon here. And an armor. And cannon. So if you're on the ground, we are gonna be pretty fast moving. That's okay. Right. Tracking along so far. This is actually much, much better. Oh, that cannonball just chasing me across the ground. All right, we need to be careful about our steering up. A little bit of three-point turning. Oh god, we bounce off the snow, which is pretty interesting. Uh, okay, we broke apart. All right, let's try and go for the cannon first then. Nope, I missed. All right. Oh boy, I'm just being knocked about here. No, I need to be using my left hand, I think, rather than my... Oh, crap. Ow, oh, poo. <laughs> I'm rubbish. I need to get the shot right first time, because I've only got one shot. Oh, boy, yeah. Wham! Okay, there's the first one down. Now we need to kill these other people. Rawr. Oh wow, bodies flying around. Right, let's get a big turn around. Try not to jackknife it too much. Rawr. Okay, now we need to take out the archers. Blah, 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 just mow them down the line. And move some more. And then turn around. <laughs> it's a funny little tank thing, I like it. There's the rest of them. Everybody line up! Okay, so what more do we have to destroy? There's one more soldier. Okay, there he goes. Uh, there's the tents in the background, I suppose. 
I'm really hoping that I don't have to destroy that cannon on the hill. Yeah, there we go. That last. That's a beautiful little machine. I like it. It's quite multitask. All right. Hmm. Liar pig. What the hell? Uh, destroy 80% of the monument. Oh god! Don't tell me this one shoots lasers at you too. All right, let's save this machine because this is beautiful. I'm gonna call this saw tank. Here we go. Right. So let's just see if there's anything fancy about this, first of all. I want to know. Nope, doesn't look like it. Anything around the back? I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm expecting a trick, you know? It cannot be this easy. It's even got glowing mist around it. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's load... Let's load something. Let's load the bomb pod. There we go. Now let's see if we can do something with this. L! Okay, we're going to have to go a bit further than that. I like that we can break the stairs. Let's just move up a little. Change these wheels to be a bit slower. And L! Not falling down yet. Alright, let's make these wheels slower. Like, a lot slower. Like, point four? Yeah. Point four, well, point four one. Close enough, I suppose. Okay, we'll play. Go up as far as we can, and then, oops, sorry, sheep, and L, bang. Alright, so we need to be able to get higher than that. How can we do that? Do we need another spring? Hmm. This is risky. Let's just put it a bit closer, like there. See if we get any more height with that. Without destroying the bomb. Whoop! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's what happened last time. Alright, uh, let's not do that. I guess we can make the arm longer. Let's do that. Let's, um, grab another pole and stick it on the end of that instead. It's under weaponry. The holder is under weaponry. Do you remember that? Let's try this. How far will this go? Oh boy. Well, it'll explode for a start. Do we need to make it let go earlier? What if we stick a block there? That's good. Alright, now let's add the spring back, because theoretically, if we can get it so that it drops before such a point as it actually hits that block, Okay, no. Let's let it settle first. Hey, that's pretty good. Alright. Uh, play. Let's get in close and personal with this machine. Machine? Monument. We're the machine. Okay, and... Whoop! Oh, what, it bounced off? Hmm, that's a little infuriating. It got some good destruction, though. Let's go once more. Maybe we can come over from the other side. I don't know. This is, this is the right thing to be doing. Oh god, the sheep keep running in front of me. And L! Yeah, why does it bounce off? What's it bouncing off? I can't actually see, which is kind of annoying. Is it actually bouncing off the monument? Does it have like some weird force field? Okay, that time was just stupid. <laughs> Oh boy, there's a lot of there's a lot of pause and retry in this game, you know. So let it settle and then. Okay, now we are unable to let it go. All right. Uh. Hmm. 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 
entirely sure what I can do about that. I could do it while driving. That's pretty good. Alright, let's play again. Maybe we just get that little bit of extra speed. Alright, we're actually not reaching that uh, at the moment. So let's just let it get a bit closer. And... Oh, well, that time it missed. Hey, pardon? Well, at least we don't have lasers shooting at us. This time, at least. Oh! Oh, it's wind! That's what that stuff is. The wind is, like, blowing it away. Right. Okay. So... What else can we load? Do we have... We didn't save the last flying thing we created. That plane attempt doesn't work, by the way, so ignore that. Hmm... So we need something that will can... It's going to be a lot more accurate. Alright, let's try... Let's load the old cannon that I made. This is something that I made while I was... Duh, what does that do? Nope. Nope. Duh. Duh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Don't want a steam thing. I just want to... That, and then click that. There we go. Lovely little cannon here. And if I remember my... I think it's left and right to move. Yeah. Control the individual wheels. <laughs> this is like the omni wheel type thing. You know? Right mouse key controls the left wheel, left controls the right, hold both of them to go forwards, and then one or the other to turn around. And then back, of course, we have it backwards as well. Okay, so I don't think that this is going to reach somehow. Oh. <laughs> the sheep. I'm just taking the sheep with me. The question is will the cannon ball get blown around? Hmm. Let's try aiming this higher. Let's create something new. Let's create a machine that will fire a cannon. We'll create a stand for it. There we go. We'll put a lock and a hinge, maybe. Or, in fact, do we want to do something even more clever, which is going to be put a block like that and a gear. And then, um, where, where's the gear? It's under locomotion. Actually, we can just use a wheel, can't we? And then we can put a block there. Actually, we don't even need that. Haha! -ha! We can adjust the height of the cannon. Alright. Let's, um, first of all, change the speed right down to like 0.1. Set on the ground. And try. So theoretically, we can. Yeah! This is cool. This is like anti aircraft fire kind of thing. Oh! <laughs> Alright, that's good, but it falls apart. So. Hmm. Let's put a block up here, with a wheel on either side. And I'll put two cannons. On there. On there. And, uh. Change the wheel speeds right down. Point one. Point one. Try again. Right, dual cannon. This is looking very much disturbing, like some some World War Two, you know, anti-aircraft cannon. Actually, that looks really cool. <laughs> nee, 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 nee. And fire. Okay, we just caught the side. And again. Why did they fire not simultaneously? This is going to be a luck thing. Alright. It's going to be annoying if it is. Could always make this four cannons. That could be interesting. No, I just had an idea. Right, um, we're going for style here, I think. I'm sorry, I'm going for style. You'll probably be able to figure out what I'm doing. Hmm. 
to test that. That's right, yep. And then a block, real. And then a block, and then a block. And then cannon. Cannon and cannon and a cannon. So now we've got four. Yup, that is looking pretty sick right now. Um, change these wheel speeds right now. Point one and point one. Now we have our full axis of freedom turret thing. Oh yeah! We are here for business. Hmm, for some reason the leftmost wheel is slowly dropping. I don't know why that is. <laughs> Alright. So. Um, hmm. Let's put maybe some ballast on the back. So I think there's a, it's held down a bit by the weight of the cannon. Yeah, they do kind of drop down a bit. For some reason, the left one drops more than the right one. That's weird. Pull up, and then fire. Okay, we're still only taking out one half of it. I believe this is the way to go, though. Up, up, and fire. Surprised at how little of this we're actually managing to destroy, you know, with four cannonballs. Hmm. <laughs> Something satisfying about that, just looking at it from the front and watching it just fall apart. I wonder. Does our brace stretch? No, it will refuse to stretch. Okay. Bang! Okay, there we go. That was just a lucky shot. Whoo! Nice. Let's carry on. <laughs>